Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of The Culture Guide, a uh, happy sunny Easter and Passover to you. And speaking of the sun, we are here outside in the lovely weather that we are having for Easter and Passover. It's a uh, lovely sunny weekend, so no better time to just jump straight into it with The Culture Guide. The Culture Guide. The Culture Guide. Welcome to The Culture Guide. Oh, that's truly awful. Hot garbage. Blah. If you want to find out about anything in particular, we're going to put the timestamps here so you can jump forward to anything that you're particularly interested in. Otherwise, stay with us and you can find out about everything that's going on. So, first of all, theatre. What's going on in the theatre world? Well, National Theatre have just released on Thursday Jane Eyre. So that's the National Theatre at Home series. We had One Man, Two Governors last week and now we've got the Jane Eyre, which is a fantastic play. Uh, really good piece. And you should definitely watch it on their YouTube channel. And coming out this week is Treasure Island with Arthur Deville as Long John Silver, so definitely one to watch for the whole family. Another really cool play to look out for is Augmented by Sophie Woolley that's just been announced and it's going to be on a subtitled limited screening from Saturday the 2nd of May 4pm. It's a really interesting play that was going to be going on UK tour, uh, unfortunately it won't be now but will be available online. More on that in a future episode. Told by an Idiot have released their second uh, show from the Idiot Archive, which is Get Happy, which is a really quirky, weird, fun little show um, for kids and adults of all ages. And that'll be available for the next week, and then uh, further shows will be announced later. Told by an Idiot are also holding their digital doctor's surgeries with the artistic director Paul Hunter, which is every Wednesday, 2 to 4, and you can book a 20-minute slot to talk about any creative processes that you might have or if you're stuck in a particular place and you're not sure where to go from there, Dr. Paul will help you out. Curve Leicester and Theatre Royal Bath are releasing an online stream of What the Butler Saw from Sunday 19th of April. That's a really funny, quirky, farcical and lewd play starring Rufus Hound and Dakota Blue Richards. A very funny piece to look out for. Just released over Easter weekend, Emma Weiss's Wise Children. That's on BBC iPlayer for the next two months. Have a look at that, give it a watch. And finally for theatre, Shakespeare's Globe have just announced that they will be releasing some of their previous shows online. The first one is Hamlet. That's starring their artistic director, Michelle Terry, and it's available until <laughs> Sunday the 19th of April. And then following that will be Romeo and Juliet from Monday the 20th of April. So have a look on their website for their full listing of upcoming shows. That's such a good take. Thank you. Over to musicals now. So Andrew Lloyd Webber's The Shows Must Go On project is continuing. We just had Jesus Christ Superstar last weekend. And this Friday is another of Andrew Lloyd Webber's productions. We're not sure what it is yet, but that's going to be available for 48 hours. It could include Phantom of the Opera to the sequel Love Never Dies. It could be Cats. It could be Evita. Keep an eye on the Shows Must Go On YouTube channel to find out what productions are coming up, including this Friday. A new musical version of Pride and Prejudice was released on Saturday 11th of April. That was their UK premiere on Facebook. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but it sounds like a really interesting version of Jane Austen's classic tale. And Chichester Festival Theatre released their musical Flowers for Mrs. Harris. That's available online until Friday the 8th of May. More archive shows will be streamed later on. And for dance, Birmingham Royal Ballet have released a short piece called The Swan. That's choreographed by Carlos Acosta for BBC Culture in Quarantine. It's a solo piece danced by Birmingham Royal Ballet's Celine Gittens with music from Jonathan Higgins and Antonio Nove. Noves. Noveus. In opera, Royal Opera House are continuing their hashtag Our House to Your House, which is where every Friday they will be streaming a new performance either from the Royal Opera or from the Royal Ballet. Released on Friday was Mozart's Cosi Fan Tutti, and still available is Handel's Asis and Galatea, as well as the Royal Ballet's Peter and the Wolf. You right? You love Peter and the Wolf? Yeah. She loves Peter and the Wolf, so watch Peter and the Wolf. And coming up this Friday is the Royal Ballet's Metamorphosis, so that'll be a really interesting one to watch. And also take a look at Opera Vision, which is a YouTube channel that is hosting some of the opera currently available online. And if you're missing your Easter pantomime this year, Mercury Theatre are releasing their award-winning pantomime, Cinderella. That's available until Sunday the 19th of April. And for something a little different in the world of cinema, Manual Cinema have released two of their performances, Ada, Ava and The Magic City. Those are available online on their website for free. And for you writers out there, there's some really great writing opportunities available this week. 
BBC writers, they have released a couple of opportunities from Live Theatre Newcastle. The first of which is a short play submission called 10 Minutes 2. The first theme is Call Home, so 10 Minutes to Call Home. And the deadline for that is the 30th of April, so get those submissions in. The second project is script submissions, so any script submissions that you want to make. The deadline for that is the 31st of May. Downstage Write, which is a Southwest writers group, they are hosting a weekly writers hangout called Write Home. Try and say that five times fast. That's a really good opportunity for you to meet other writers and maybe bounce off some ideas and get some creative thoughts on your latest script. And the Outsiders Project, which is a really cool group, they have released their latest project called Tattoo, which is where they're asking people to send in an image and a story of their tattoo, and they will put it all on their website as part of a sort of blog format where they get other people's stories and photos. If you don't want to write a story, that's fine. You can send it through to the Outsiders Project and they will basically transcribe it for you. It's a really cool project to get behind. So if you do have a tattoo, send in your photo and story. And finally, Calm down. And finally, for a little bit of fun, because we can't have Easter without fun. That's so hot garbage. Come on. Come on, you got this. <laughs> and finally, for a little bit of... I don't know if I can avoid this now. Fun. Careful. And finally, for a little bit of fun this Easter, Theatre Royal Plymouth have just launched the hashtag Theatre Poster Challenge, which is where they are challenging you to recreate your favourite show poster using whatever you have available in your house. The submissions so far have been absolutely hilarious and some of the favourite posters will be chosen to be printed professionally, so you'll actually get your own proper version of your remade show poster. So tag and challenge five of your friends with hashtag Theatre Poster Challenge and highlight just how important the theatre is uh, because we're all missing it at the moment. And lastly, Theatre Royal Plymouth have teamed up with Company 3 for the hashtag coronavirus time capsule, which is where their young company are releasing weekly videos onto Theatre Royal Plymouth's social media channels just to chronicle their weekly updates during the coronavirus lockdown. So that's it for this week's Culture Guide. I hope there's been lots that you'll be interested in this week. And if you do have anything yourself that you want to be featured in next week's Culture Guide, do let us know. Just send it through to Offstage hub at gmail.com or give us a comment or post your comment further below do like and follow our pages on facebook twitter and youtube we will be releasing all of our content plus some content here and there that you might not find on any of the other channels so do follow all three to stay up to date we have just released on friday our second start somewhere project article that's with elisa who is a jewellery maker and knitter. She uses unusual material in her jewellery and she's got a really interesting story as well, so give that a read. Start Somewhere also have an article coming out on Tuesday tomorrow. Uh, that's part of their weekly articles outside of the Start Somewhere project stories. And I'll be part of weekly updates on previous artists that have been featured. Also very excited to announce that the first Indoor Encore video will be released this Saturday. It's going to be a little performance piece that I will be doing just to show you what the kind of format for the series is. If you are a performer yourself, do let us know and send in perhaps either a monologue or a filmed submission if you already have something. Otherwise, just let us know that you're interested and we will talk over some ideas. Like and follow Offstage on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube for all of the upcoming projects and updates. And like and follow Start Summer Project on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for their upcoming articles and updates. So that's it for this week's episode of The Culture Guide. Stay safe, stay entertained and we'll see you again for next week's episode. Bye! God, I hate yeah, myself. <laughs>